preparing to take off. This is Joseph Funkaheza's five-year-old creation. A homemade helicopter built locally from scrap metal. I used to see planes in the sky and wonder how they make it there. But one day when I was repairing a fan, it fell. But before it could hit the ground, wind lifted it. And I learned it from there that winds can lift and started on building a helicopter. Kahez has only been educated to primary level, that is schooling to the age of about 13. But after gaining experience in mechanics by repairing motorbike engines in villages in western Uganda, he taught himself how to build an aircraft. This helicopter can take off and fly more than 20 meters above the ground, but in Kahesa's attempts to land safely have so far all failed. During a test flight two years ago, the aircraft successfully took off. But when Nkaheza tried to land, this is what happened. In hospital, he took months for him to recover. It previously failed to land, so I switched the engine off. It came down, and during the crash, I got both my hands broken. I learned the lesson, and I have now added technology. In another crash, Nkaheza's face was hurt. But the injuries have not grounded his ambition to build Uganda's first privately made airworthy helicopter. His supporters have encouraged him not to give up, and they want him to patent his technology. He has never touched a plane or got close to it. And what I want is to take him to sponsors, especially in the aviation industry, to give him knowledge, to give him access at least to touch a plane or see how it flies. Gaheza earns a living from producing metal, which also funds his helicopter project. And while he's yet to attract investors from outside his homeland, he's confident he can achieve his dream. Julius Mugambwa, TRT World, Barara, Western Uganda.